Okay, um, what they want us to do for this problem is they want us to estimate our angle to the nearest radians. Okay, so we're going to find the value, um, the value of the angle. Now, so far, you guys have probably been used to finding uh, the measure of angles in degrees, correct? So what we're going to do is now we're going to measure it in radians. So the first thing we need to even talk about is, well, how are we going to figure out what a radian is? Well, if you guys remember, all right, if we have a circle, and you guys have already kind of created your own little unit circle, um, previously what you guys have probably done is to calculate pi, you guys took the diameter, right, and you're trying to wrap your diameter around your circle. And what you notice is when you did that, when you took your diameter, and let's say you like put it on a string and then you wrapped it around the circle, you get it to like here to here to here, and then what you got was a little bit extra, right? Does that mean you guys any have done that? Yeah. yeah. Like when you guys calculated originally, looked at the number of pi, yes. yeah. you got like 3.14159 dot dot dot. All right. Well, anyways, here's what a radian is. Okay. To find a radian, what you're going to do is you're going to take the radius of a circle. Okay, from here to here. That's what we call a radian. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of like unhinge it so it's not so rigid and straight. What we're going to do is we're going to wrap it around the circle and it would probably go to about that point, right? I'm just estimating. So what we could say is the distance from here to here is what we call one radian. All right? If I was going to do this again, I would probably get to this point, right? <coughs> and so this point to this point is what we call two radians. Probably here to here, like I said, guys, I'm just messing this up, would be about three radians. Do you guys kind of see roughly what I'm doing? I'm just taking this radius and I'm wrapping it around the circle, okay? So therefore, what's kind of interesting about this is you guys should notice when you get to my radians, three radians doesn't totally encompass half of the circle. It leaves me this little area right here. And this is, if you guys remember what pi is, pi is 3.14159 dot dot dot, right? Well, if you notice, I have three radians, and then I have this little extra part, which is my 0.14159 extra. Okay? So therefore, now if I'm gonna go all the way around, if I go all the way around, here would be like four radians. So I'm right around there, and then I get to five radians. So this would be four radians five radians, and six radians, all right? Does everybody kind of see that? And then again, we have this little extra. Well, again, that's <coughs> gonna be, you know, 0.28, that's like your 0.14 times two, okay? So when you guys look at the radians, the radius doesn't go all the way around. It takes about six radians to get almost all the way around, but it's not exactly seven. So what they're asking us is they're giving us two angles, and they say, what is the measure to the nearest half degree of what your radian would be, all right? So if I look at this, if you guys notice, this angle is going in this direction. So when we're gonna be calculating degrees, it's very important for you guys to understand what the direction is and also where we start. Where you start is what we call our, ter oh, I'm sorry, our initial side, okay? And where you end is what we call our terminal side. All right, so that's vocabulary words I'm gonna keep on using that you guys are gonna have to understand. So you're gonna start at your initial, and I'm gonna go counterclockwise. When I go in the counterclockwise direction, that means I'm gonna be dealing with a positive angle, and when I go in the clockwise direction, that means I'm gonna be dealing with a negative angle. All right, these are very, very important things you guys need to know. So what they're saying is, if you go all the way around a circle, so if I go all the way around a circle, and then I go to just about this point, right, I'm just trying to like transcribe this angle onto this unit circle. If I transcribe this, how many radians do you guys think it would be? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. What do you think would approximately be right about there? It would probably take about seven radians to go around. So you could say the answer to this would be seven radians. Yes? You're just, yeah, just said it estimated to the half, to the nearest half. Now for this problem, it's a little bit different. And the reason why is, we're going in the negative direction. So I'm gonna make my radians a little bit faster for this one, but what you guys notice is, 
for this one, you can't go down this direction and say, oh, you know, it's going to be the same thing as 7, because this one's going to be a little bit different, because you're going in the negative direction. Therefore, if you guys notice, here's my initial side, right? Initial side, I go counterclockwise. Here, I'm going clockwise. That means I need to go in this direction, meaning, meaning my angles are going to be, or my radians are going to be negative. So therefore, I go here. Uh, this is negative 1 radian to here, which would be, let's see, negative 2 radians, negative 3 radians, negative 4 radians, negative 5 radians, you say something like this, negative 6 radians. And like I said, I'm just really estimating my graph, but again, if I did something like this, if I estimated my angle, I would probably say that this would be negative 6 radians if I was to estimate it. You guys see how there's a difference? It's a plus 7 radians going in the positive direction, but it's a negative 6 radians going in that negative direction. See how there's a difference? Okay, so make sure whenever you guys, make sure a couple things remember. Start on your initial side, which is right here, and if it's positive, you're gonna go in this direction, and if it's negative, you go in this direction. On your unit circle, it probably would be helpful for you guys to map out the radians. Okay, well, we'll talk more about that once we get into um, kind of stuff like that, but it really would be helpful for you guys to be able to map out how, how the radians are spaced out. But that's how you do pretty much uh, to estimate the radians, or the degree of your angle using radians.